A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we'll explore and modify the remaining properties of User Input Wizard page. Click the Processing tab. Click the Check Credit Limit Validation. Set its sequence to 100. To place this validation in a proper sequence, note that the sequence property determines the order of evaluation. Right click the validations node. Select create validation. Set the sequence for these new validations less than of check credit limit validation. Validation type is set to not null. This is the item which should not be null. In the error message property the number label substitution string specified in case of an error at runtime, which replaces with the label of the associated item P11 customer ID. You can control a validation performed by configuring its server-side condition property. Select a condition type from the list that must meet in order for a validation to process. In the current scenario the condition, item equals value is formed like, P11 customer options equals existing. This existing value specifies that validation fires when you select the existing customer option on the application page. Create another validation. This validation will check whether the first name of a new customer is provided. This new value specifies that this validation is fired only when the new customer option is selected at runtime. Let's create some more not null validations for last name, state, postal code, and credit limit items.
Create the following validation to check input of proper phone numbers. Item matches regular expressions enable you to search for patterns and string data by using standardized syntax conventions, rather than just straight character comparisons. Source code link is in video description. Open part 7 folder to get file used in video. The validation passes if the phone numbers matches the regular expression attribute and fails if the item value does not match the regular expression. These last three properties inform Oracle Apex to execute the validation only when a new customer is created. Let's create a similar validation for P11 phone number 2 item. Click the Rendering tab. Scroll down to Existing Customer Region. Click P11 Customer ID Item. Turn off the Value Required Attribute. Scroll up to New Customer Details Region. Turn off the same attribute for some more items. The value required properties for these items were inherited from page 7 where they were set to on, to mark them as mandatory. In the previous two steps, we've used an alternate method to manually control the validation process for these items. If you don't reverse the value required status then the application will throw not null errors for these items, even if you select an existing customer. Click the Processing tab. Right-click the After Processing node. Select Create Branch. Set the following properties for the new branch. When the Next button is clicked, the Defined button action, Submit Page triggers after performing all validations. The Submit Page process executes instructions specified in this branch and moves the user to the Next Order Wizard Step Page 12 created next. Click the Save button to keep your progress and alteration. Run the application. From the main menu, select Orders. Click the Enter New Order button. Select Existing Customer. Click the LOV button to call list of customers. Click the name of a customer from the list. The name of the selected customer appears in the customer box. This is how an existing customer is selected for an order. Now click the new customer option, the dynamic action created in previous step invokes and performs two actions. First it hides the customer box and the LOV. Second it shows a form similar to the one you created in part 5 video to add a new customer record. Click the next button without putting any value in the provided form. An inline message box will appear with 6 errors. This is the procedure you handled in the validation steps. After correcting all the form errors by putting some values in required fields, 
If you click next, a message pops up sorry this page isn't available indicating that page 12 doesn't exist. Your next task is to create this page 12 where you'll select products for an order. Thanks for watching.